What's up, puppers? Jerome here with another TBC video. Today, we're gonna be talking about why you need to make as much gold as humanly possible in the Burning Crusade before Wrath of the Lich King comes out. Before we get started, please click that like button, hit the subscription button, and don't forget to click that notification bell, or I won't be able to keep researching and making videos like this one. You are not prepared. All right, so let's get started. The reason I wanted to make this video was because my experience going from Classic to TBC wasn't the best it could have been, and I want to teach you everything I know to make your experience going to Wrath a lot better. Personally, I found myself pretty far behind on everything. I wasn't able to make all the alts I wanted to make. I wasn't able to do all the things I wanted to do and the investments I wanted to make, for example, because I just didn't have the gold. Honestly, I thought it would be a better experience for me as a player and as a content creator if I didn't have a lot of gold going in so that I would have to play the game a lot and kind of understand what everyone's doing and, and be more connected and more related to the game. And what happened was I had so little gold and so few ways to make gold. So I was very limited and it caused me to have a little bit of burnout. Burnout is really bad in a game like the Burning Crusade because typically if you burn out of a character, you could just make another character. But if all your alts are gonna cost a bunch of gold to make, then you're kind of boxed in, you're kind of locked in. There's no, there's no solution there. You kind of are forced to quit the game. So I really, really want you to avoid that situation. I want you to avoid burning out and quitting the game. I've got a lot of ideas that are gonna help you hopefully to get better prepared for Wrath of Lich King and just generally understand the thought process of why you need more gold going into Wrath. All right, so the first reason why you need to make a lot of gold right now and bring it into Wrath is that wealth compounds into more wealth. And this it applies to pretty much everything in real life and of course in World of Warcraft. If you have a lot of gold, you can make a lot more gold more easily. It's, it's just simple math, right? So for example, let's say you want to invest on the auction house. We know Black Temple is going to be coming out in a certain amount, number of months from the game launch. You could buy a bunch of Shadow Resistance gear since everybody needs Shadow Res gear. This is the kind of investment that can make you so much gold for so little effort. Really, really smart players were investing in all sorts of materials in Classic, for example, that would be useful in TBC. They were investing in items that would be useful in later phases as well. If you have a lot of gold and you can make investments, those will turn into a lot more gold later on and you won't have to do any effort at all to make that gold. It's also really important to note that if you have a lot of gold, you can be sort of the, the first to market for a lot of things in an expansion. And this applies to all professions pretty much. A good example will be enchanting. Let's say you get the mongoose enchant the first week or the second week of TBC. That's basically infinite gold. You're printing so much gold. My friend Dave got it. He made thousands of gold from the mongoose enchant the first couple weeks. The kind of thing where the earlier you are to have the enchant or the jewel crafting recipes or the blacksmithing recipes or the, the engineering recipes, whatever it is, the earlier you can make this stuff or and sell it on the auction house or sell it to other players and get a, get a tip. This is gonna be such easy gold at the start of the expansion. One thing I like to say is that latecomers to the party will end up with lower profit margins and more effort for the amount of gold that they're making. Let's say you're a booster in Stratholm, for example. That gold is only gonna go down later on. The earlier you are set up and, and maxed out on your gear, let's say you have a mage or a paladin all set up for Wrath of the Lich King, and you're able to boost a lot of people through dungeons really early on, that's gonna pay dividends and, and you're gonna make so much gold early on. Whereas if it takes you a couple months to get a character geared up and set up, you're gonna make way, way less gold and have to spend a lot more effort. Another thing worth noting is that it's a lot easier to do all sorts of flips, auction house flips, uh, trading flips, if you have a huge cash stack. A good example of this would be that a lot of people were buying bind and equip greens at the start of the expansion so that they could quickly level their enchanting or flip them and then have other people level enchanting or just get the, the, the mats from disenchanting. Of course, you also have the typical auction house flips, the vendor shuffles, which you could have done in much better quantity at the start of the expansion when there were so many items available, so many people doing things that were maybe not the best decisions for them because they were just kind of desperate to level up quickly and make quick gold. So you could have been there to snipe all those crazy good auctions, those crazy high profit margins that could have gone right to you if you had enough gold. Don't forget that all sorts of crazy trends pop up throughout an expansion. For example, prospecting was wildly profitable for a while in jewel crafting. You could have made tens of thousands of gold if you did it at the right time early enough. Uh, there was a time when repair bots were really profitable to put down and you could basically just buy the scrolls off of them every 10 minutes and make a ton of profit. It's the kind of thing where if you're early to a trend and you, you have a lot of gold, it just compounds and compounds and then compounds. And if you don't really have any gold, you basically make nothing. You end up with really low profits. You end up probably like me with a bunch of extra repair bots in your inventory. 
and not a lot of profit to be had. So we've talked about how wealth compounds into more wealth, but there's another really important reason why you need to make as much gold as possible before Wrath of the Lich King. This reason is simple. It's gonna be a race to world's first, a race to raid, raid viability, a race to PVP viability. You do not want to be sitting there farming gold while everybody else is making their second alt or their third alt and they're getting raid ready, they're getting arena ready, they're doing battlegrounds. You don't want to be sitting there getting gold because you'll be permanently behind. You'll be behind on honor. You'll be behind on arena points. You'll be behind on raiding gear. It's always going to be a bad thing if you're late to the party. And it's also important to note that the more alts you can get to max level and raid viability and arena viability, the more likelihood you're gonna enjoy that expansion because if you don't like Disc Priest, for example, you might enjoy DPS Hunter, for example, or, or a Warrior, whatever it is. Having a bunch of maxed out characters with lots of good gear is gonna make you wanna play the game more. It's gonna make you enjoy the game more, not feel locked into a corner. You, you have options. I really, really strongly recommend that you play healer, you play DPS, and you play tank in every expansion. Now, this may not be as viable in retail, but personally, I think being able to play all three roles is really important because let's say there's not really much gold farming for your rest of Druid. Well, you can make a ton of gold on your DPS Warlock, for example, or your or your Pratt Paladin. A final note on the extra character idea is that GDKPs, love them or hate them, are here to stay right now. And they are the best way to make gold. We're talking tens of thousands of gold. If you do these, I highly recommend if GDKPs continue to be the future and they look like they will be, to have multiple characters to do raids with to make a ton of gold with. It's really important to note that being broke is no way to enjoy the game. It's really not a game that is designed for you to have zero gold. So let's say you're doing PvP with zero consumables. You're trying to run the flag as a druid with no free action potions. That's not a very good experience. Or you're raiding with no consumables. You're a healer with no mana pots. That's not very fun. The, the game is designed around you farming a bunch of gold and then using it in things like raids and PvP. Unfortunately, due to the way the game is designed, healing classes, classes that don't do a lot of damage, cannot really farm gold nearly as quickly as, say, um, a Fury Warrior could, for example. And this is uh, really, really important to note because if you're only playing a Resto Druid, you're going to be behind on gold forever, basically. You're never going to catch up on gold. You're never going to have very much gold unless you do GJKPs. It's really important you think about how unfun it'll be if you have zero gold the entire expansion and you're just sort of getting by on handouts and free mana pots from the guild bank. You definitely deserve more from the game. You deserve to be able to do everything the game has to offer, whether it's battlegrounds with consumables or raids with consumables or, or whatever it is, fully gearing yourself out, getting those enchants. You don't want to have to be broke the entire expansion. And I was broke the entire TBC expansion until I made a prop pal and I said to myself, enough is enough. I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be zero gold all the time. So if you made it this far in the video, the important thing to note here is that it's not all doom and gloom. You have time to make a lot of gold. There are so many great gold farming methods out there. I've got a great post on the WoW Economy Reddit if you want to read about all the hottest ways to make gold right now. I will link that in the description. It's not too late to start. It's not too late to get into some GDKPs. It's not the end of the world if you have zero gold right now. My point is don't do what I did. Don't get trapped in this situation where you don't have any gold and you're on a healer and you don't know what to do and so you end up quitting the game. And before we wrap this up, it's really important to talk about Wrath for just a minute here because yes, not only is Wrath gonna cost you a ton of gold, there's gonna be inflation, there's gonna be so many things you're gonna have to buy for PvP, for, for raids, for everything. But also achievements are a thing in Wrath and everything's gonna cost so much gold. For example, maxing out your professions for achievements. There are so many ways that you're gonna have to sink gold into the game and you do not want to be behind on that because everyone's gonna wanna max out their achievements. It's gonna be a big thing and you don't wanna be stuck farming gold just so you can max out your blacksmithing, for, exa for example. You don't want to have to be that far behind. It's not going to be a great experience. My advice, go out there and farm as much gold as humanly possible before Wrath of the Lich King comes out. You will not regret it. Thanks so much for watching. Before we wrap this up, please let me know in the comments below what you plan on doing for Wrath of the Lich King. Are you going to play? Are you preparing right now for Wrath? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and remember to have a great day.